What's up, YouTubers? Today I'm bringing you a tutorial on my little garage of Car Mechanic Sim Letter 15. I'm not sure if it's a uh, gold edition. I can't forget. I think it's just regular plain Jane. What? Yeah. And I have a. Gaster Earthquake Brex. I think I'm saying that name right, wrong, but eh, it's worth 156,000 once I paid 50 grand for it, or around 50k. Got new stuff in this motor. I replaced everything on this truck. Motor, bare, bare bone. Took it out, rebuilt it, refixed it, put it back in, tuned it. Runs about 819. My fourth mile is about 11. Point Three three one seven, which is not bad for eight hundred some horses. This I haven't done yet. This this got this is my second vehicle. I just got done restoring. Did the, all the body work, all the transmission work, engine work, which is done to the truck as well, and new exhaust and everything like that, which is the truck has too. Just like this, and you can see the new exhaust. From the engine on down. The same thing with this. All the way down. Look those tires. Um, this has got the supercharger on it. New throttle body or throttle body. Throttle throttle. This is going to be fun because this has a Okay, that's a throttle. I don't know if I could put a super trigger on this or not. Weird. I think it's weird. But I gotta take this off part, take it off. Last time I was gonna do it, but I was like, eh, too tired, didn't feel like doing it, so I put it back all together. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And this is what I'll be doing to it. New parts from in here. Like the air filter, probably new alternator, cam the camshaft. New heads, uh, exhaust, fuel filter, the fuel pump, the fuel rail, if it has it. The initial coil, if it has it, I think it does, because I think it's a V8, but I'm not sure. I haven't really towed it on the motor, so I don't know anything about the motor yet. It's going to have new pistons, new uh, power steering pump, new throttle, new spark plugs. Uh, I wish I could put that on there, but. Yep, this is so far what I'm doing. And then, like the truck and BMW has, it has a new clutch system, new clutch plate, clutch pressure plate, and a flywheel. And then exhaust. And now, I'm going to be doing the same thing to this vehicle. Fun, fun, fun. This is a little bit different. Yep, yeah, it's got the fuel rail, the, 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 the eyes, okay. So I was correct there. Damn, I like how it's red. And it's hard to tell. I always take that off. Take the battery out. Take this off. Then I take everything off the front, to the sides, to the heads. Everything's coming off of it. Even exhaust. Get rid of all that. Replace the exhaust. Re take everything off the front first. Redo that, put it back together, take the back off, redo that, or I just do it all at once, but it makes it more, more work, more time. It's easier and faster. I learned to basically take the whole front, switch it apart, and redo it, put it back together, and then go to the rear, take it off part, rebuild it, and put it back in. Which you just go up here to this workshop. I gotta get my truck out of the way though. Go back and park it. Come up here and just rebuild the parts. That way it saves me money, saves the time. And this car, I pretty much bought it. The car's valued that, but I paid more than that. I paid like, it's kind of weird. I paid it all for three cars, 50 grand. That was about $150,000 spent on three cars. 
This game is insane, but I like it. I love it. Oh yeah, I can do that. Duh. But yeah, I replaced everything on the body, redone every single detail. I don't know if anything worked. You know, it's been fixed. Never been wrecked, never been hit. It's all been redone. All three vehicles been totally restored with new parts. Thanks for watching. Hope this uh, tutorial helps. Um, just to prove to everybody, this does have a, this does have 1,054 horsepower. Go to my dyno. I'm at five minutes. I don't want to make it six minutes, but I try my best not to. This is my not my tune, but whatever. I'm not retuning it, so. But if I just run it, it should have 11,000 something horsepower. 1154. Yep. Or 1054, my bad. And that's what it does. What is it doing, drag track? I don't know yet. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for part two where I take it to a drag strip. Later.